Hi, this is Shea Veronica, and they're talking about redesigning current tax structure in Barbados. And Senator and Economist Crystal Drakes is in your news. I'm sure she did go to school. I'm sure she did graduate with, I'm hoping, not sure, hoping that she did graduate with a degree or certification or whatever you need to call yourself an economist. Okay, let's move on. She's talking about direct taxes on income and she's saying that if you reduce that it could be a hell i think that minimum wage in barbados should be 15 dollars an hour minimum wage in barbados should be 15 dollars an hour get tax get tax collect tax money from all the people who set up businesses make sure that every business you collect taxes from make sure you collect taxes from income and if there's an ease these people where land tax is concerned, there should not be land tax after spending centuries in slavery. Do you know how that sounds? Do you? I, it's so hard for me to say. Do you know how that sounds? Centuries in slavery? You should not be made to have to pay taxes when you buy a piece of that rock. When you buy a piece of the land where your ancestors worked as slaves, you should not have to pay taxes on that land when you buy a piece of that rock so if you are going to try to wiggle a, a ease for barbadians let it be land taxes no land taxes and raise the minimum wage in barbados to 15 dollars an hour maybe 18 dollars an hour invite the tourists on tax them tax people who set up businesses in barbados tax them and take you, you take taxes from people who are working there so that you can run the place. But increase, instead of attacking or trying to reduce taxes on income, increase that minimum wage to $15 to $18 an hour. And you should not pay taxes on land that your ancestors worked on as slaves. It's Shea Veronica.